Working hard or hardly working? Hardly. Hardly working? Snuggle on you. Oh, yay. <laughs> What's up? Hey. I'm Travis. I'm Aaron with our lively tribe. Our lively tribe. And it is, we are week seven quarantine, so we're going into week eight. That's almost two months. That's, that's, <laughs> just, that's just too long. Happy May. Look at this. May Day. Goodness. May Day. It is May 2nd. May 2nd. Today's my mom's birthday. Whoop, whoop. I feel like March. Went by so March didn't slow. even happen. All we did was work on trailers. That's all we ever do. But I'm saying, know, but wow. in perspective of life, March went by really slow. And then April was like gone. Oh yeah, oh April's yeah. April's done. That's... Oh okay, March was when this all started. Yeah. Yeah, that, that dragged. dragged. That was a, yeah. And then April came and went like really fast. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you got into the groove of quarantine life and it just flew by. Yeah. And May is a crazy month for us. We have two of our four kids' birthdays, two mother And then it leads right into another birthday. It's crazy. Yeah, and then Trenton's birthday in June. So it's like May is insane for us. May, May was like the start of summer. Like, boom. It suddenly got hot, like really hot, like ridiculously. It was cold. It cold, went from cold, like cold nights. Weirdly cold to now weirdly hot. Really hot. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, I had gone online and found above ground pools, and I thought, okay, if we're gonna be here during summer. Oh. <laughs> River just face landed. That was brutal. He's up. He's moving. Um, if we're gonna be here through summer, we should get an above ground pool. So I thought, when it gets hot, I'll look again. Well, it got hot and I looked again and they were sold out everywhere, sold out. So I found a small one. It's a 12 foot in diameter. Oh, I was trying to show you Kona bothering us. And um, perfect for the boys. So we snagged it and now there's nothing anywhere, which is crazy. Cause I went to the pool supply store and the guy was like, where did you get this? <laughs> we bought it on the black, the black market, market. The black market pool supply. <laughs> so, we are we're cleaning up an area behind the fifth wheel and setting up the pool. Trenton, go get River. I seriously get it. Before he gets that anthill. Is that an anthill? You go get him. Oh. Was it an anthill? Yeah. We grow weeds and ants here. Take 57. Really, this is all gold. I'm trying to say. My dad put the pool up. He flattened the area, leveled it, put the pool up. It's up, we've got water in it. We are now landscaping the area. The rock guy that we wanted here isn't coming till Monday. Does anybody care? Does anybody care? Do you care? <laughs> All right, so. So it's our third DIY project. Our third do it yourself. While we're, uh, in quarantine. There's been some big ones though. The garden's growing like a weed. Oh, yeah, the garden's doing really Garden's good. looking awesome. What the was garden, the other one? The room, the boys room. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Damn, that felt like so long ago. Yeah. Wow. So, that's all. Just another thing to keep our kids busy. So close to us. No, I'm further away. <laughs> Ooh, gonna face All right, bye. This is what we've got going. We got the ladder on Facebook Marketplace because ladders were sold out on Amazon. We got the pool Target online, last one that they had. And we're just landscaping. We're getting more rock delivered, but the guy can't come till Monday. So we're putting some blocks out planting some rosemary bushes. Rabbits don't like rosemary, we found, so planting rosemary in this area really helped. We had these three, 
and we had two others that they did like eight that were what plants did the rabbits eat i don't remember it but they were like pretty flowered ones and just one day we came out and they were gone yeah but they left the rosemary alone so we got 10 more rosemary and we're planting those around the perimeter and um making it look like a cute little homestead and then there's this beast who runs so I just laid out all the plants around the perimeter and I told Travis that he was going to end up rearranging them. What he said, you? not if they're perfect, <laughs> as he usually uses a tape measure to measure the distance of each block around the pool. You guys, this is why our RV renovations are <laughs> near perfection and take so long. <laughs> yeah. It looks perfect. Look at that. Evenly spaced. How do you know they're evenly spaced if you didn't measure them? I have perfect eyesight. You do know that, right? I actually have perfect eyesight. I know, that's how you got a perfect 10, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Always entertaining. Whoa, so you better not be measuring the distance of those plants. I'm, these aren't even safe. But they're not the same. It gives it character. So you want wherever they are is where you want them. Yes. You don't want me to. Okay. 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 Don't come out here at night and re and move them. I'm gonna I'm gonna plant them right now. I mean, I think they're perfect, but clearly we have a different opinion of the, perfect. The spacing's different on all of them. I love it. I can. I know you love are, me so much. You would I leave know. it that way. But I love you so much that I know it bothers you. So go ahead and fix it. Okay, these pools want to go in. It's not even warm enough. Oh, it's it's supposed good. to be 100 this week. Oh, so it'll be nice dark. this week, but... Oh gosh, it's going to be so cold. Trenton's our fish. I'm a fishy. I'm a fishy. <laughs> uh -oh. Go. <laughs> One, two, three. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. No, we won't. That's what you said for all of us. Trenton's in. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I took my shirt off so you got the camera out. Yep. <laughs> They're uh, going on hour two in the pool. Honey, are you going to show how, how straight all the plants are? Oh, Travis wants to show how uh, great the plants look. Look at that line. Look at that ditch. I did not make the ditch. <laughs> so this no. ended up overflowing. It overflows. There's too much water apparently. So the water was pouring out and my dad dug a trench to let the water go out that way. But look at how perfect these rosemary plants look. Look at these houses on next to each other on Minecraft. I've made one. I was thinking you guys should make one too. Trenton, why are you wearing the floaty? So he can just float around the circle. Yay! Nice. Look at out! What? We get the bag of pre-marinated carne asada from Costco. Throw it on the grill. Delicious. Ready to eat? You're always ready to eat, huh? Yeah. Food. You ready to eat? No. Hey, you guys can start making yours. There's carne asada, veggies, rice, salsa. This is a taco.
little of more light. Yum. That is a burrito. Is that good, Rev? Some refried beans and guacamole. What did you say? I said the crunch, the burnt part was so good. Mm. Uh, so good. Do you need more refried beans? Where's the refried beans? Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I didn't close out the video yesterday after dinner uh, life, so I figured we'd just continue on with the weekend. So yesterday was a project day just around our place getting the pool set up for the boys and planting plants and making it look nice and clean. Hopefully that just uh, gets us through the summer. I think a pool with kids is so necessary when they get older and so that'll be fun. Today we announced that we have launched our t-shirts. We're going through a website called, called Bonfire and we get a portion of the sales and they get a portion of the sales. Well, we've decided that with whatever portion we get, we're going to donate to a local nonprofit. And so this month, um, up until May 15th, when you snag your shirts, the profits that we make will go to the Valley Restart Center, which is a local nonprofit homeless shelter here in town. And so we decided to support them and uh, donate any of that towards them. So check out the shirts. The link is down below and um, they're pretty fun designs. I had fun coming up with a few things and putting them on t-shirts. So every 15 days or once a month we will post a new shirt, a new design. I really enjoy coming up with that stuff. So check that out. Otherwise, uh, it's just Sunday. Okay, your beard was the most commonly asked question on our Q&A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there was only two questions, I think. I know. How do you trim your beard? You can you can video it and watch. How often do you trim your beard? I don't know. Like six months. When you start to no. look homeless? Not that often. Do you go do a beard guy? How short are you going? Are you wearing the right shirt? This is the shirt. That's the beard trimming shirt. Mm hmm So can you go short? No. Does it make you nervous to have me watching you? I feel like you're just going to hit my elbow so that I like <laughs> have to take boat tone, boat loads off. Boat loads? River. You should just take boat loads off. <laughs> no. Are you even trimming it? I'm going to put this shirt in your pillowcase. <laughs> I don't even know if you're touching it. <laughs> I'm going to cut your... <laughs> I can't tell if you're even touching it. <laughs> Whoa, you went short. <laughs> so we had to make this uh, runoff until we get gravel in here tomorrow. So we dug a trench for the water to move along and River found the trench. that think, wow, Erin is so calm and chill about letting her kid play in dirt. 
Let me just tell you my anxiety is at about an 11 right now on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm breathing through it and just letting it happen. About to head out on an evening walk. The only one ready is this guy. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right. We're going without any kids. Just river. A walk without children. Just that one. But end of the weekend. Going into week eight of quarantine. A lot done this weekend. You got a ton done. The pool is up thanks to my dad. It's landscaped thanks to this guy. You laid him out. It didn't stay that way. No, it still laid him out. Yeah. It was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. We haven't had a weekend in a while. Travis has been working a lot of the weekends so it was nice to actually take a Saturday and Sunday and get some stuff done. Yeah. But tomorrow back into the grind. We got a lot done last week in work too. Wow. Yeah. Getting that Aloha rig ready for the, the new family that'll go in it. And um, things are a little behind just because of COVID. <laughs> the whole world's behind. Unfortunately. What? We still don't have any kids. Oh well, screw them. We've got River, he matters. The other ones, I don't know where they went. The other ones can find snacks on their own. <laughs> <laughs> Productive weekend. Super productive. Figured out a system for the gray. Travis reworked our gray water. What are we doing with our gray water? We we bought a big hundred gallon tank that I buried. So the gray water goes into the tank, and then we're pumping it out of the tank, and we're going to be able to water our trees and uh, and our garden if we want to. So we're pretty luckily super our. Uh, stoked. Our uh, friend Kendra over at the Wandermeyers, we ran it all by her. He's just going to want to be carried. Looks like we're going to walk to the end of the road and back. We ran everything by her and she actually is a, what is she? What's her job? She works for the, EP, well she, she works for a company. It contracts with the EPA on uh, cleanup sites for old uh, like mining areas. Yeah, so she actually Look knows. Out on the light is right now. So Kendra huh? actually majored in like plants and water and how they she's grow and she's a genius. So we contacted her and she was like, listen, this is how you can use your gray water to water plants that you plant and potentially your garden. And um, she knows all the scientific lingo. I don't, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna actually put all of that water that we're using to shower with and to wash our dishes with and our hands to good use, which is amazing. amazing. I'm amazed at how much water you go through in a day. And how much is just like wasted, it's crazy. So my dad grew up in Hawaii on the uh, west side of, of Oahu. And he says as a kid, his dad took the washer line from their washing machine and ran it through their garden and it it watered all their mango trees and uh, we use all natural organic soaps and dye free chemical free so I'm excited to actually like not just waste water yeah I'm stoked about it man I feel like these are all just like learning points for when we do settle into a property in a house like things will focus on yeah. And we, yeah, because I'm not going to let that water go to waste now that we know we can do something with it. Right. No way, man. So cool. So we're excited about that. 
Oh, we got another kid. Yeah. <laughs> Jaker's wearing his mask. He's safe. It's a Harry Potter mask made from one of our friends. He's a Harry Potter fan. Oh, we got another one. Child number four. You Woo! What did you do? Pull the wire out of it? All right. Perfect. So that's our weekend. Out for an evening stroll. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Kona and uh, and Kona, fifth boy. Until next time. Peace out. Bye.